Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can create approval flow for office groups. So in my previous videos, I have created uh, any approval flow using the individual user emails, but this time we are going to use the office groups. So as I got uh, many queries from uh, viewers that they want to have the groups instead of any individual users in their approval field. So far to explain the concept, I've created this list, which is having one simple title and approval field, which is a field where you can input the individual users and as well as the groups. So before jumping into the flow, I would be creating a office group first of all. So for that, I'll just log into admin. I'll just go to the groups and under active group I'll create one new group so I'm adding this group so this group would be office 365 group and now we are calling them as Microsoft 365 so I'm just clicking next and naming this one so let's say it's a finance group so whatever the request or the items would be for finance approval it will be redirected to, to this group so i'm just clicking next i'm setting myself as owner and the email id you can specify email id whatever you want i'm simply saying finance approval group and it's a public group I would like to have create a team for this group you can keep it check and check based on your requirement and now this group is created so as you know like every office system or Microsoft 360 group has a one associated associated site with them so this will also provision one of the site so if I go to the settings under my the SharePoint admin So I will, I should find uh, the site created corresponding to this my group. And why I need a site, I can, I will tell you uh, soon. So I'm just going to my active sites. And under this, you can see I have this five uh, site provisioned along this my office search group. Right. Okay. So now. We are done with the creating group and one of the site which is associated with that group. Now we can very well go to the Power Automate. So I just uh, go into my flows. And now, as I said, whenever some item gets created, it should be assigned to finance group if it's a finance related item. So I'll just create one instant flow and I'll choose the trigger as when item is created. So I'll just connect that item to my that list approval list and this list name is office approval group list right so now uh, the the actual challenge comes so how to distinguish whether this input value is individual approvers or it's a group so for that we got one identifier so I can show you that so for any office groups, we have this claims, this type of claims, starting with C colon and federated directory claims provider. And for any user, we have this sort of claims where it's called as memberships. So on this string basis, we can distinguish whether it's a group or it's a individual e user. So this, they, they let the uh, part, which is after this pipe is actually GUID of group. And the part, which is after this uh, user, uh, uh, in the user field is email id so how to find this GUID of a group so that's why i opened this the financial approvals associated site because it's a uh, quick and uh, uh, very effective workaround to find a GUID rather than going a uh, powershell route so you can just simply go to the site contents and uh, you can go to any of the classic page so i'm just going to the site settings now you can just press the F12 and in the 
js console you can simply say sp context sp context dot group id so if you enter you'll get your guid of your group so now i i am just saving this one and pasting it in my note because we are going to use this guid later in my power automate all right so now going back to my flow in the next step i'll be composing one string and in this i'll add up uh, use the dynamic content as approval claims so under this now based on this claim whatever we got we will make a decision that whether it's some user or a group so i just add up one. so this in, under this condition i'll again use this uh, approval claims or output of my previous tab if it contains the string which is i c i mean this initial part of this office group string then it should be considered as that we are we got input field as group and in other rest case it will be a user or member so i'm just adding under this if condition if i found that as a group then i'll use the action as list group members so this uh, action would be under the office 365 group so i'll just for simplicity to filter out i'm just clicking on this office 365 groups and under these i'll choose this list group members and now i need to provide the group id so as i copied the group id in one of my step i'll just paste that one so now i'll uh, set the assigned to because i got all the members now i can use the uh, start or wait for approval start and wait for approval under the approvals i'll choose start and wait for approvals and under this i'll specify everyone must to approve or wait for all responses so you can specify based on your requirement i'll say please approve you can choose up the title of the list and under the assign to i'll use the email addresses of individual users so i'm selecting mail so now it will create the task for individual members and under the details you can specify whatever details you want so right now i'm just leaving that as is and and under the no condition i'll use a, a append to string because this could be semicolon separated uh, multiple fields for my individual approvers so i'm just using append to string and i need to specify one variable just before a front so that i can append the approvers to there so i'm just saying uh, initialize variable and it's a variable type approver individuals and it's a string and under this apply to each under the condition of no I'll append to that string and the value I'm going to append is this one the approver email I'll add up the semicolon so that it can be a semicolon separated. So this is how you can do it. And now in the same condition, you can say again say start and wait for approval. And again you can set set this up branch. Title is approve and assign to under assign to you'll be using this dynamic variable which we just which we just appended. So this is how you can create and and actually i created these two separate start and wait approval so instead of two you can create one as well you can just append the same list members to that approver uh, variable and then under the common step over here you can just use a single start and wait 
so that's an optimal way of doing it so I can just save it now so our flow is saved now I'll just uh, go to my list to create one new item and before that because uh, uh, I have to have my this group uh, where which we created initially the members so that we can split out the members so I am sure that we don't have any members there so I'll just add up a couple of them so under the members so I can simply search for my team members and for the testing I would add myself as well as member So now my this group has two members so we should able to identify these two members part of our automate and now I'll just go back to my item where I'll just create this new item as the prover item and this I'll find out search out my group which is financial approval group and save it I'll move to my power automate just to check whether my automate ran or not right, so my flow is running if I click on it I would be able to see the details of it so it's waiting for up on approval step as I selected the setting everyone must approve so if I just go to the action items under the approval I should find that it should send out email uh, and I created one item for my team for for that that finance group of world members. So you can see it's created one task for uh, Prakash, my team member, and it's after approval of uh, completion of this uh, task, it should assign or complete the same task for me as well. So that's how the approval would work. So in short, we were able to create the task for approvers for based on the members of our Office 365 group and as well as we were able to handle the, the user membership like whether the field is containing individual users then it should take the route of uh, creating tasks for individual users and otherwise it should assign the members, uh, assign the task to the individual members of that group. So I hope uh, this uh, would be helpful for you. And if you have any questions, then please drop a comment and like and subscribe the video. Thank you.